Hi everybody, today we import a character from Sketchfab, rig it and import it into Unreal. I use Lyra for it. We need the auto importer and we need Acurig, both here are the URLs, download and install them. Then from the auto setup you need this plugin directory, I'll plug in and copy it in your engine plugins. Then you go to SketchUp, find a new model and uh, I have this nice Lara Croft here. It's attribution, so meaning you have to mention the author and look for an FBX or object file that you can import or export. And then you get this, this uh, file here, zip file here, that you then put into a folder. If you have textures here, normally you should have, you just create a new directory, drop the textures in, we need them later, but um, more important for the moment is the FBX file and how to rig it automatically. For rigging, we use Acurig, for me the most powerful importer and rigger at the moment on the free market, by the way. Um, it does everything more or less automatically. You can set up here a couple of points, make sure that you have symmetry on the right menu um, checked, and then you just um, yeah let it evaluate fingers and, and, and all the um, joints, and that's normally a 90% perfect result that you get. Honestly, if the model is good, if the model sucks, then your rig will also suck. Other than that, you see even the fingers are auto-rigged within two, three minutes, really. So extremely powerful, I highly recommend it for everything importing. If you export, it will export your Unreal format, but UE4. So that's the last barrier that we have. We cannot use it directly. We have to move it to the UE5 mannequin. Um, we do it from the menu right click import not dragging it in otherwise you will not trigger the trigger the plugin so we import the fbx we say standard shaders here it should create a skeleton yes it should use t0 as reference pose yes and everything else is more or less standards you can try to import the morph targets but that's it um, sometimes the model is too big then you have to do some translations here here in that model it's one my last one was really too big and you say import all and what you would expect is yeah, maybe a couple of materials that's not the important part. The important part is the skeleton, the skeleton mesh, and the physical assets. So let's see. If it's grumbling about the shaders, that's fine, we ignore that. It's optimized, of course, for the uh, full suite um, from, from CC. Yeah, we have a skeleton mesh here that looks good. It's okay, a bit uncolored, but fine. Um, so I'll leave it for the moment. Now we really have to think about how to rig that thing. We will create a folder here called rigs and the rigs itself, as it's UE4 compatible, we can steal from the UE4. So we go to the UE4 folder and we need the rig and we need the UE5 to UE4 iKey retargeter. We copy both into our new folder and maybe rename it to make it a bit easier to find. So not UE4 anymore, but that here is my Lara Croft model, for example. And the same goes for the iKey retargeter from mannequin 5 to mannequin 4. And we use that. The retargeter will give us the option to do really a live transformation. So opening the iKey rig, here's our Lara Croft. We have to reset it once and we save it, then opening our IK retargeter, same thing, Lara Croft, looks good from a standard A pose, but now let's load an animation here. We have it running, oh yeah, looks good, uh, running away a bit. Yeah, we need another one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, animation is important, looks natural, same animation really left and right, so we seem to have a working rig here already that is compatible with the UE5 mannequin. Question is how to do that live. We can kind of re-import all the animations. That's a bit messy. That's mostly the old way. We don't need that anymore. What we can do here is creating an animation blueprint that is just copying the things that the UE5 mannequin can do. So we, how do we do that? Old way was to retarget just the animations. We don't need that anymore. And easier way is really here to create an animation blueprint for this one here. So you right click on the um, skeleton mesh, create animation blueprint. Let's call it ABP normally for animation blueprint and then Laura or Laura Croft. 
And if you open it, it has just one output mode uh, post. So how do we create that output post? We say retarget post from mesh and connect the retarget post from mesh with the input for this output post. And here we have the possibility to choose an IT retarget asset, exactly the one that we created a minute ago. And that will live recreate all the animations that we need. Now we need a tagged actor that is B underscore a name, B Quinn we use because we have a woman here. And we again copy it and rename it to B underscore Lara. Opening it, it's important for the mesh settings here. We want to use our skeleton mesh and we want to use our new animation blueprint that we just created, our Lara here. So let's save that. And now we just have to use it and using it meaning we have here our character parts blueprint that we created in the last video actually. And the character parts blueprint gives you the possibility to use one of these tagged actors in our Lara here, B underscore Lara, normally it's B Quinn or B Manny, and can add change character parts even live on stage. Yeah, looking good, animation are smooth. That's exactly the UE5 animations. Okay, textures are not looking that great. It's a bit black and glossy, kind of plastic-like. So that is something we want to change. We have textures important. We have a kind of predefined materials, um, depending of course on the, on the model. What we do here, I just really will drag and drop the, the textures in that we got. So we have body, we have head, we have tool. Let's filter here for body, for example. Normally you get four different textures that you need. So you just drop them in. We do a very, very primitive material here. And what we do here, uh, we just connect the base color, the normals, so the height information, the roughness and the metallic with it. Normally textures should be named in a way that you kind of see uh, what is for what. Let's speed that up a bit. So a very simple material, just having this for information for the material that goes better, yeah. <laughs> but even that, okay, it's a bit still plastic-like result, but here for this low poly character, that's fine enough. Animations is very smooth and working like a charm. So easy way to import every FBX model and rig it into Unreal with Unreal Lyra here as an example. I hope that's helped and see you soon. Bye.